Hello, my name is Benjamin. Today I'm going to be demonstrating how to make hard candy. I used Lego silicone ice cube trays to make these and cut a small hole into them to insert the lollipop sticks. To start, mix 3 quarter cups of water with 2 third cups of light corn syrup. Then mix in 2 cups of sugar. Turn the stove on heat and mix all the sugar until it's dissolved. Now attach the candy thermometer to the pan. Be careful the candy thermometer does not touch the bottom. Now we'll let it sit until it gets to about 250 degrees. The heating process usually takes around 30 to 45 minutes. It's gone into more of a rolling boil now and will start to transition to being transparent As it nears 250 degrees, the bubbles will start to get thicker. Once the temperature hits 250 degrees, add in the food coloring. I'm using some primary color gel from Walmart, but icing coloring or liquid food colorings all work fine. I put in about 10 drops because I wanted a darker shade of red. So that the syrup continues getting hotter, don't stir it. Just let the boiling action of the molten candy mix the color in. At 275 degrees is the crack stage, when it will set and be solid candy. If you take it off the heat at 275 degrees, it'll usually be more chewy like Jolly Ranchers. If you leave it on until around 300 degrees, it will be more brittle. Once it gets to the temperature that you prefer, remove the pan from the heat. Mix in your flavor. I'm using one bottle of Lorraine's Oils Cherry Flavor. Then I add in three bottles worth of the Tart and Sour Additive. If you mix in only a few, it'll bring out the fruit flavors, but if you mix in more, you can get a sour candy. When you stir it in, be careful, as the flavor's steam can irritate your eyes or nose.
Once the flavor is fully mixed in, it will stop bubbling and look smooth. Now we begin to pour the candy into the molds. If a little drips between the molds, that's alright. It breaks off pretty easily once everything's set. I had enough from this batch to make 10 of the Lego bricks, one large Lego figure, and a few ice cubes. When I use the small minifigure molds, I end up with a lot more, but since I'm making lollipops, I went with the larger molds. Now it's time to demold. First is the Lego figure. Pop him out and pull out the stick. That looks good. Now we'll pop out the ice cube the bottom silicone so it's nice and easy and now for one of the Lego bricks again we just pop out the brick then pull out the stick I have some cellophane wrappers that I will be putting them in. You can just twist the bottoms or as I did, I taped them around the bottom. Yeah. So, Eli, how do you like the candy I made? It's great. It's very, very tasty. And here are all the candies wrapped. Thank you for watching my video. I hope it helped you. I will upload more videos in the future of different candy recipes I try. Thank you and have a great day.